This is Will Nunziata, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with an acclaimed singer-songwriter, the one and only Jade Zabrick. But before we get to our interview, here is a sneak peek at her incredible talent. Jade, how are you? Hi, how's it going? I'm good. Jade, it is so nice to meet you, and I'm so excited the audience got a little sneak peek of your amazing voice, and I want to know first and foremost, when did you realize that you could sing? Um, I feel like I probably didn't realize it till, for a while, because um, I play guitar for a while, and um, I, I feel like I developed my voice over time, because I could play guitar and not sing for a while, and then just practice and practice, and then got better over time, I guess. Were you always writing songs? Like, were you, like, I was trying to think, like, as a kid, were you a poet? And then when you picked up the guitar, you started writing songs. Like, how did that whole process of songwriting come about for you? Um, well, I started writing songs when I was 14. Um, I picked up guitar when I was 12. So, wow. I don't know. I I knew always knew it was going to be a thing, though, because, like, I, I have all of my songs that I've written, um, like, the original paper that I wrote them on. And I remember writing the first song and putting number one, thinking that this was gonna be a book, a very long book. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I, I, love yeah. It. I love it. I also love that you were telling me off camera. I love the fact that we have some artists on the Phoenix platform already that you know and work with. Talk to me about that. Yeah, so I'm uh, in a collective called the Trainwalkers. Um, we're a group of buskers that uh, we all met in New York City. Um, I, I say there's like initiation to our gang where we have to actually have bust on the subway. And by um, the way, Jade, for people that don't know what busking is, can you go a little bit into that? Uh, yeah, it's basically street performing. Um, but I don't like to call it street performing. Like, you know, you play guitar outside for money, but I don't really do it outside. So that's why I don't call it that. Um, I do it on the train car. Yeah. Um, like when I'm going, you know, from place to place in uh, New York. I love that. I love that. You know what I also love about that? And I have a lot of friends who have busked and you know, obviously for the pandemic's sake, don't right now, but I love that it's such an, ob obviously an opportunity to perform and work on your craft, but for someone who's able to bust, you have to have, excuse my French, cojones. And, you know, because you never know who you're going to be um, singing and playing for, but at the end of the day, I think it just takes a certain type of person with courage to do, to do it, wouldn't you say? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, not everybody can do it because I've, I've tried to push people into it that weren't ready. Um, but uh, when, I don't know, I kind of feel though that like, if you're going to be a musician, you have, you should be able to do it. Like, <laughs> you know, like, I just, that might be a kind of like, but um, all my people can do it and we, yeah, we do good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Talk to me a little bit about Trainwalker Thursdays, a YouTube series that seems you had, was that during the pandemic? Yeah, that was during the pandemic. We're not really um, doing that anymore. Yep. Um, but we're back in live, live in person now. We're doing shows. Um, we actually have two shows coming up. Can I? I don't know when this is going to be like aired, but they're it's coming up. Air tonight. So tell me, oh, tonight yeah. is Thursday, December second. So tell the world where they can find you in the Train Walkers. So this Sunday we're going to be at Funkadelic Studios, which is in a uh, music studio in Times Square. Um, we're having a like a pre-party there in a collaboration with Supreme Bars. Uh, they're a freestyle competition um, and their actual competition is going to take place on Wednesday and we're going to be performing there uh, on Wednesday with them at Wonderville. Um, so Wednesday at Wonderville and Sunday at Funkadelic Studios. That's amazing. So that's Sunday, December 5th and are any other ones coming up? 
besides that? We got a couple more at later on the month, but those are the ones that we're focused on right now. Yeah. Fantastic. So Sunday, December 5th in Times Square. Amazing. And we're going to have all of your links right below this video, Jade. You know, I'm curious, Jade, for any of the young Jades out there who, you know, have this dream of playing professionally, what advice would you give to them? Um, To just go do it. Like nobody says I'm a, like, that's what you just said doing this professionally. Like, I'm not sure if like I'm doing this professionally or if all of us are, but I guess we are if we're making money off of it. But I don't have a, like a boss, <laughs> you know what I mean? Nobody, uh, I'm just out there doing this. So if you, if you feel like you can do it, just go out there and do it like, and see what happens. Well, I also love Jade, it's a great idea. I mean, the fact of the matter is as artists, we're our own boss. And the fact is you get to wake up every day. I get to wake up every day and we get to decide what our schedule is. And I think that's an important point that, you know, you just got to do it. Yep. Feels good. Listen, Jade, final question for you. Um, and by the way, I'm just so grateful that we're connected now. You're an incredible talent. And I'm just so, I'm curious, you know, as the world starts to open up even more with more opportunities for you to perform live and in person, what are you most excited about just in getting back in front of a live audience more and more? Um, maybe, what am I most excited? I guess by the, the, just the interaction of the crowd um, and how like the band improvises with each other and stuff like that. I just miss that, um, you know, being with other people in the same room. Um, there's just nothing like that energy. But yeah, we're gonna bring it back this week. So it's gonna be good. I love it. I know there's nothing like that dance that happens between a live performer and an audience, something that you can never recreate. Um, and I'm excited and hopefully I get to see you live and in person sooner rather than later as well. Jade, thank you so much for your time today. Cool, thank you.